Happening now, a career fair for all supporting our local veterans. Dozens of companies on the hunt for good employees. That job fair is not just for vets, it's also for their spouses. WLWT News Size Eric Zarnitz is live with more on what you need to know. Eric, good afternoon. That's right, Lisa. We're down at Great American Ballpark for the All Veterans Career Fair. Now, it kicked off about an hour ago, but will continue until 3 o'clock this afternoon. And the reason for it? Well, according to data obtained from CPS, or Current Population Survey, there are 573,000 unemployed vets last year. 60% of those are 45 and older, 37% 25 to 44. Now, the Gulf War era two vets from 2001 and on, men have 7.5% Unemployment versus 6.3 for non vets, and women's unemployment in the, out of the military 8.5 percent, about 2.5 percent higher than non vets. For almost every counter, every person that we have in our business, there's a counterpart that's trained in the military that could jump right in. They're very qualified candidates. So, this is our way of of doing our service of bringing these people in, but at the same time, it's filling our vacancies with very qualified people. In full disclosure, Hearst owns WLWT, but there are a number of other companies down here as well, local companies like the Horseshoe Casino or Cintas, even companies from Dayton, the Dayton Police Force, as well as Wright State University, and national brands like Home Depot, AAA, and State Farm. Reporting from Great American Ballpark, Eric Zarnitz, WLWT News 5. Eric